kangaroo goes back a long time, you know. It was around all those years where um, that's what Aboriginal people ate in those days. I've been eating kangaroo for over 60,000 years, generational, so it's been handed down. We never went without kangaroo. I've eaten kangaroo as long as I can remember. Eat it all the time, I've got some in my freezer now. Very important, you know. We grew up eating that, our families, our families before that. Kangaroo is an important food source for Aboriginal people. It is, it's good for our health. Um, the, the backstrap is really tender and really, really good grain. And the, the kangaroo tail is, um, is also like lamb shank. It's a lot to do with health and well-being. So that we know now that kangaroos hasn't got a lot of fat, it's really lean. If there's no kangaroos around, we usually crave for that meat, you know, until we can get some. So our main meat sources that we eat, Dayalana, is uh, um, Daltawanga kangaroo and Kalti, emu. Um, we still continue to hunt and gather, especially for our old people as well. Our mob and the Impa mob tend not to eat the greys or the blacks because most of the greys or blacks are totems, so we don't eat our totems. If in my language, I'd say Daltawanga, and that's a type of kangaroo, so it's the red or the blue. We'd prefer to eat what's natural. Harvest the smaller ones. It's like if people go into the butcher shop they don't go there specifically looking for mutton, which is the old stuff. They go there looking for lamb, which is the young stuff. It's different in a city where, you know, their supermarket, they buy it off the shelf. We don't do that. We like to eat the, main, the meat sauce straight from the bush. It's like going to a supermarket these days. you got meats, you got emus, you got um, birds, you got reptiles, you got plants, vegetables, fruits, so it was really a outdoor supermarket. So I'd say in my language, I'd say yambari nginga na kolpa. Kira kira, that's mean they need to come out, sit down with us on country and talk about it. The harvesting rules and regulations need to change a bit to cover community use. That's important if we did have someone that can um bring it to our communities, um, getting it off the properties and the land and, you know, and bringing it to each community. Well, it's, it's that one word, access. We've got to be able to get access to go out and get traditional meats. Probably employ the traditional owners who knows the land. Like I've had a few um, kids growing up close to my boys and the non-Aboriginal ones and um, they love that meat too.